What is going on, my fellow internet nerds? I am solo today, which is kind of sad, actually. Uh, me and Steven are not on the same schedule this week. Whatever, it is what it is, life gets in the way. But I'm here to break down episode six of What If Killmonger Saved Tony Stark, which in my opinion, this has been the best episode I have seen by far. Just really embodying that what if principle. Uh, before we get into it though, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate it. And uh, this video today is sponsored by Tribe Fitness Challenge. It's gonna be going on January 8th, 2022. Right now it is $20 off. Go to the website, tribefitnesschallenge.com. Sign up today. If you're looking for a goal to challenge yourself, for January, for the new year, get yourself geared up, and it's time to hit it. So let's get after it, start that Tribe Fitness Challenge, and that's our sponsor for today. So let's get into the video. So, with this episode, we honestly probably have one of the most diabolical genius plans of a villain that I have seen ever. I kinda wanna break it down, go through it, so we're gonna go for, for that. I think that this gave Killmonger some justice that we all really wanted because we all felt in the Black Panther, he really didn't get enough screen time and we wanted to see more of him and I feel like this was that tribute to that, so it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Killmonger apparently was only 400 clicks away at the time that Tony Stark was in Afghanistan and got attacked and just happened to save him. Knowing that he can maneuver his way into Tony Stark's whole operation, get him to build his bots and so forth. So what he does is, he saves Tony, right? He gets back, he outs Obadiah Stane, which, kudos, you're the best. I hate that guy, so good for you. Uh, he then maneuvers his way into Obadiah's position for Stark Industries, gets Tony to build these Liberator bots for him, made with vibranium that he then gets from Claw, which they're kind of partners the whole time, like in Black Panther. He knows T'Challa's gonna show up, kills T'Challa, even kills my man Rhodey, sad. Then, didn't see this coming, but Tony does have Jarvis watch this all happen, whatever, Killmonger's like, I don't give a shit, bro. I'm still gonna kill you, and I'm still gonna carry, carry forth my plan. So, Tony unfortunately dies. This gets into a point where he can have Claw lead him to Wakanda, he doesn't know where to go yet, kills Claw, and then we just see the Black Panther story pretty much carry out, presents Claw to Wakanda, they take him in, but this time, T'Challa's not there to challenge him. So, doing it this way, honestly, Killmonger's a damn genius, you know? He doesn't have T'Challa to challenge him, he can maneuver his way into Wakanda to take the throne of Black Panther, he does this by letting the, the Liberator bots come in, he has his own little button, he kills him in front of them, yay Killmonger, you're the man, take over. He then gets a pur heart, purple heart-shaped herb, and that's pretty much his plan, and I think it was absolutely genius. And this is like, one of my takeaways here, like one of my favorite moments that we could see here is that this could have happened. This is very realistic. This could have happened in our MCU, which is crazy. Um, also, I really like Open Eye staying dying, like I said, because that man sucks, and he was a POS. So I'm happy he's gone. And then I just love the ending, which I have a theory that this season two is going to be part twos of some of these episodes, because how do you leave us on a cliffhanger like this? We don't know what's gonna happen to Wakanda. Uh, America's planning to bomb it. Uh, we have Shuri and Pepper teaming up to take out Killmonger. Um, T'Chaka's still alive, and he has his belief in, in, in um, Killmonger, thinking he is the one for the Purple Heart Shaped Herb to take over the Black Panther mantle. And my absolute favorite moment of this episode is when T'Challa confronts Killmonger in the ancestral plane and tells him, listen dude, you've done all this for what? You've killed, you're trying to take back killing people from, by killing more people, it just doesn't make any sense, and your hunger for power is gonna come back to haunt you. So, I mean, I don't know about you guys, I think we're gonna see a part two eventually. I don't know what episode is even next of What If? So I'm very curious to see what happens from here on out. And let me know in the comments down below how you felt about the episode. If you're on board with me, you loved it. If you hated it, if you didn't care for it, whatever, is what it is. Just be sure to like it, share with your friends. We'll see you on the next breakdown. Peace.